what's up guys today i'm going to teach you how to do all four shove it's without even popping the board off the ground so a shove it could definitely be the first trick you learn even before an ollie if you do it like this to do your first shove it you want to have your toes on your back foot hanging off and you want to have your front foot just right in the middle of the board your back foot is doing all the work here it's going to be shoving the board around your front foot is going to be jumping and catching it. So this is a pretty easy trick. It's basic. It could be the very first trick you learn even before an ollie. You don't necessarily have to know how to get the board off the ground to be able to shove it and slide it on the ground. But you do need to be comfortable riding your board. So you need to know how to do a tic-tac. I'll demonstrate some tic-tacs. The reason you need to know how to do a tic-tac is because that's kind of the same motion. When you're doing the shove it, you're moving the board in that direction and you're using the tail to do that. So being able to pivot, move off your back wheels is really important. So the foot position for this trick, you want your back foot hanging off at first. When you're first learning these, you want your toes hanging off right in the pocket on the tail. After you get better at this trick, you can pop them, and for that, you'd want to have your foot right on the back, on the tip of the tail. But to slide them, you want it hanging off. That's because you're going to be scooping and pushing it back, and you need something. You need your toes there to grab onto the board, to shove it around. Your front foot is not going to be doing a lot. It's mostly going to be catching the board. So you're going to have it right behind the front bolts, or right on the front bolts. So to do this trick, you jump just a little bit and then you scoop and push the board back with your back foot. Your front foot just hovers there the whole time. As it's coming around, your front foot's hovering, waiting, and it comes back here, it catches it, puts it down. Also the front foot keeps it from flipping so it doesn't do a pressure flip of some kind. If you're sliding this trick, it's better to have kind of a harder wheel and some smooth ground. So it kind of looks like I'm doing an ollie. All the wheels are leaving the ground, but actually, there's no pop. The tail's not hitting the ground. This is a no pop shove it. The cool thing about this is all the shove it's are basically the same thing. So the only difference is with front shoves, you're hanging your heel off instead of your toes. And you're going the other way. Also with front shoves, you can use your front foot a little bit too to kind of throw it around. But it's basically the same thing. So the nollie shoves are a little bit harder and the switch shoves. I think the nollie shoves and the fakie shoves are way easier than the switch shoves, but yeah, it's all about being able to do a little scissor kick. You can use both feet if you need to. Just kind of get to slide along the concrete. If you can't get these, practice just holding onto something, like a rail or something, while you uh, get the motion of it. If you have a board without trucks or a trampoline, that would be great for learning this trick too. It would help a lot to just take your trucks off and practice that motion of just scooping the board around. 